Hello, my name is Jay Parsons. I am an associate professor in the Department of Agricultural Economics at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and a farm and ranch management specialist with Nebraska Extension. I'm here today to talk about the annual forage insurance plan offered by the USDA Risk Management Agency. The annual forage insurance plan is a precipitation risk management program offered by the USDA Risk Management Agency to meet the production risk management needs of producers planting annual forage crops for use as livestock feed or fodder. As shown in green on this map, it was first offered in 2014 for the states of Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. It has since expanded into Colorado and New Mexico. Similar to Pasture Rangeland of Forage Insurance, or PRF, the annual forage insurance plan is based off of rainfall index data provided by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Climate Prediction Center, or NOAA. With the annual forage insurance plan, producers are able to ensure annual forage production value by dividing their liability across a series of two-month intervals and ensuring based on the expected grid index representing the average precipitation data for the grid ID. The grids are 0.25 degrees in latitude by 0.25 degrees in longitude. This translates to roughly 17 miles by 17 miles at the equator. Due to the curvature of the earth, actual size will vary based on location. Each grid has an historic precipitation index calculated for it for each of the two-month intervals dating all the way back to 1948. If a producer purchases coverage for forage located in a particular grid, the final or actual grid index is compared to the coverage level selected by the producer. If the actual index falls below the coverage level, which is also called the trigger grid index, producers may receive an indemnity payment. The trigger grid index is simply the expected grid index times the coverage level. The coverage level is a percentage of the expected grid index selected by the producer. Currently, a producer may select a 70%, 75%, 80%, 85%, or 90% coverage level. Obviously, the higher the coverage level, the more likely the insurance product will pay an indemnity, and consequently, the higher the premium cost is for that particular coverage. In this example, a producer purchases 75% coverage, as we see here in gray. The trigger index will then be 75. If the actual index during the selected months is lower than 75, as is shown here, the producer may receive an indemnity equal to the difference between the coverage level and the actual grid index multiplied by the productive value of the acres insured. So what does the annual forage insurance plan actually cover? The annual forage insurance plan provides coverage for annual forage crops planted for use as livestock feed or fodder. So this includes, but is not limited to, crops planted for grazing, haying, grazing combined with haying, grain harvest combined with grazing, green chop, or grazing combined with green chop, or silage. So it's currently available in all counties in Nebraska and it has both a CAT coverage level and buy-up levels available. The CAT coverage has a lot of exceptions attached to it, including the fact that CAT coverage is uh, not available if the only intended use for the annual crop is grazing. In that case, you have to use, uh, purchase the buy-up level coverage. Similar to pasture, rangeland, and forage insurance, or PRF, uh, this is based off of a two-month intervals um, that are insurable for coverage levels up to 90% of normal precipitation. Again, an exception is there for cat coverage, in which case the uh, coverage level is locked in at the 65% level for the entire growing season. There are a total of four growing seasons being offered for annual forage insurance coverage. 
Growing Season 1 and Growing Season 3 have been around since its inception. Growing Season 2 and Growing Season 4 were recently added. We are going to focus on an example for Growing Season 1 in the remainder of this webinar. The other growing seasons would work similarly with different coverage periods and different planting windows to match. All growing seasons have a sales closing date of July 15th. So if you want to participate in this insurance program, you have until July 15th to sign up and provide coverage information to your crop insurance agent for any of these upcoming growing seasons you want coverage in. For growing season one, the forage must be planted between July 16th and October 15th, with the acres planted reported by October 15th. The insurance coverage is on final precipitation index values on selected two-month intervals from September 1 to March 31. If you go to the RMA website at the URL rma.usda.gov, you can find a link to the rainfall indices on the home page. RMA makes available a decision support tool, a grid ID locator, and data for historical indices in each grid dating back to 1948. Let's look at an example. I've selected grid ID 25317 for us to look at. This grid contains the town of North Platte, Nebraska in Lincoln County. The county base value for annual forage is $199.86 per acre. A producer can select a productivity factor from 60% to 150% of this value to match their coverage needs. In this case, that would equate to a productive value from $119.92 up to $299.79 per acre. Again, CAT coverage is the exception with a productivity factor locked in at 45%, or in this case, $89.94 per acre. The producer also needs to select which two month intervals they wish to insure and how much coverage they wish to put on each insured interval. The percent of coverage attached to any insured interval must range from 10% to 45% of total value. The coverage across all intervals must sum to 100%. It is also important to point out that each month may only be insured once, so no overlapping coverage intervals are allowed. Again, CAT coverage is a different product in that it has only one interval covering all months available for the growing season. This is what the decision support tool on RMA's website looks like for the example coverage taken out on grid 25317 in Lincoln County, Nebraska. I've selected growing season number one up here on the left. So you can see in the table that we can select precipitation index coverage for two month intervals from September through March. We've decided to attach 40% of our coverage to the September October interval. This makes the October-November interval unavailable to us because we cannot insure October twice. We decide to go ahead and split the rest of our coverage, putting 30% in the November-December interval and 30% in the January-February interval. Now, if you look back over here on the left, you'll see that we have selected the 90% coverage level. This means that if the precipitation index falls below 90% of normal, for any of the three two-month intervals we have insured, we may receive an indemnity. Again, this coverage level can be selected by the producer to be anywhere from 70% to 90% of the ex expected precipitation index value. Next, you'll see that we've selected a productivity factor of 100%. This means that we are accepting the county base value of $199.86 as our productive value per acre. Because of the 90% coverage level, the resulting dollar amount of protection is then $179.87 per acre. You'll see both of those numbers listed down here in the first two lines at the bottom where the county base value is $199.86 and the dollar amount of protection is $179.87. 
Back up here on the left, the insurable interest percentage is set at 100%, meaning that all of this production is at risk to us. We are not paying a share of this productive value to a landlord on a share lease or a share to a farming business partner. Insurable acres are set at 120. That is just a number chosen by me for this particular example. Of course, you'd put in your own number there for the number of acres you wish to insure. Finally, the sample crop year is set for 2017. Over on the right, you can see the results. This policy protects a total of $21,585 in value. The premiums range from 21.49% to 25.39% for the three intervals we have insured. The, the uh, insurance premium could have been as high as 27.84% had we insured the December-January period. The total premium is $42.68 an acre. The subsidy level for this particular product is 51%. So the government will pay $21.77 an acre of this premium, leaving the producer a premium of $20.91 per acre, or for the total of 120 acres that are insured, $2,510. Note that for the 2017 crop year, the actual index value that we see listed here in the second column from the right is above normal for every interval meaning that there is no indemnity paid out for this particular product in the past year. And we see that listed here in the far right-hand column. But this is just how it would have worked out for this one year, which would have been the fall of 2016 into the winter of 2017. Using the decision support tool, you can look at historical indices and estimated indemnities for all years going back to 1948. Here's a screen capture for the last 20 years of our example grid in Lincoln County. You might notice here that there has been a lot of variability over the years. For example, the December-January interval of the 2007 crop year that you can see here in the middle of this data has an index indicating precipitation was over four times the average amount. At the other end of the spectrum, the November-December interval of the 2003 crop year that you can see over here a little to the left and down had an index of 3.4. So this would have been late uh, 2002, and precipitation was only 3.4% of the average, a month, average amount for this two-month period. Of course, this was a fairly severe drought period in Nebraska. We had another one of those fairly severe drought periods in the last half of 2012. You can see that reflected in the indices for the first three intervals of the 2013 crop year. Each of these indices is well below normal. Overall, all the indices on this chart that are below 90 in the intervals that we attach coverage have an estimated indemnity that can be calculated. Here is what the expected indemnities would look like for the last 20 years. You can ignore the zeros in the October, November, December, January, and February, March columns because we did not attach any coverage to those intervals. For the other three columns that we did attach coverage to, you can see how they would have been indemnified over the years. Notice that the last two years would not have had any indemnities but if you go back 20 years, this is a fairly rare occurrence. In fact, these are the indemnity totals by year. 2011 and 2007 are the only other years without at least some indemnity from this coverage. Notice in the 2013 crop year with the drought of 2012 involved, the total indemnity on this coverage would have been over $11,000. On average, the annual indemnity from the coverage is $3,720 per year. This compares to an annual producer premium of $2,510. On a per acre basis, an annual premium of just under $21 per acre yields an average indemnity of $31 per acre. This reflects an indemnity to premium ratio 
of 148%, which is a result of the premium for this product being subsidized. So over the long haul, a producer should come out ahead with this product. But as you can see with the totals over on the left, there will be some years where you owe more in premium than you collect in indemnity, and some years where all you have is a premium with no indemnity to show for it. The question is, are you better off? For the years from 1998 to 2006, that answer would be a resounding yes, as it would be for 2012 and 2013. But you shouldn't buy this insurance coverage thinking you are going to outguess Mother Nature. It's best to look at it as an opportunity to protect your investment in an, in an annually planted forage. Does it help you manage the precipitation risk associated with that activity? Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in the Department of Agricultural Economics at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. You can see my email address and phone number listed here. I encourage you to visit the RMA website at rma.usda.gov to learn more about the annual forage insurance plan and to use the decision support tool that is available to help you see how it might work for you.